Good morning, folks. You're looking at 171 angstroms of the sun. With the active region departed, she's now very quiet. That's the only calm note we'll hit today, so let's round out that analysis at spaceweathernews.com. We do see the southern coronal holes as the only feature of note. Their solar wind is likely to interact with Earth's magnetosphere towards the end of the week, but will be minor. Much like the current solar wind stream in geospace, peaks of the stream barely hitting 400 kilometers per second, geomagnetic conditions also riding low, calm, and steady. We reported the 6.1 earthquake in the Philippines yesterday. That's footage on the right of the building sway dumping a rooftop pool over the edge. And an even bigger one struck this morning, but luckily was twice as deep as the first one. Any damage reports from the one overnight will come in throughout the day. And speaking of quakes, I wanted to quickly show the animation of tiny revealed California quakes by Caltech. We looked at this larger story over the last weekend as being brute force earthquake forecasting system potential for the future. Let's go to the weather where Vietnam is experiencing one side of the scale and here in the United States it is the other. Cold and snow records continue to fall here more than a month into official spring in the northern hemisphere and it's not just in the west. Hard to believe such a wicked winter storm occurred at the same latitudes as that heat record in Vietnam. Quick polar vortex note. The south has indeed overtaken the north for the season. This is what we expect it to look like in June when the strength peaks southward. A quick plasma physics note. The helium hydride ion is considered a necessity for our understanding of cosmic plasma, but until now has never actually been detected in space. One of the fundamental molecular ions in the construction of the universe has been spotted for the first time. Up next, you'll be forgiven for thinking this is the energy field around a human body. Plasma and energetic fields often take interesting shapes, and this one is merely the eruption point of solar flux ropes. They modeled the entire eruption process, and indeed, at the most exciting and energetic moment of the solar action, it takes on that head and upper torso field shape. We're going next to granular hydrodynamics, something that was not supposed to exist. This isn't fluid. It is small and large grains of sand excited by vibration and gas motions. None of the actions were what was expected, and there is obvious and express implications for volcanic activity and even actual fluid behaviors like at astronomical scales. Last but not least, we're heading to the core. A brand new analysis of geomagnetic jerk shows that they are discovering it's much like an actual jerk action in the buoyancy realm that releases magnetohydrodynamic alpha waves to produce the magnetic effect. Geomagnetic jerks are of major importance because they and solar storms are the only known causes of time jerks in the length of day. And if scaled up, could literally change the rotation of the planet if induction from a solar blast ever met the core. Folks, that is indeed what all the evidence suggests happens on this planet cyclically. If you have not seen our recent 23 episode Earth Catastrophe Cycle playlist, it slowly and carefully breaks down all the past research, past researchers, evidence across seven fields of science, and unfortunately arrives at the conclusion that it's going to happen again, and soon. Full playlist linked for you right below this video. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.